Well, it was looking unlikely because of the weather, but the latest SpaceX Falcon 9 launch was a success this morning at Cape Canaveral. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition, engines full power, and lift off. Go Hera, go Falcon, go SpaceX. Look at the power. Is this time, it has the European Space Agency's HERA system on board. The mission aims to investigate Dimorphos, and it's going to focus on the effects of NASA's DART impact on the asteroid. CBC News' senior science reporter Nicole Martellaro is here with me. So that's a lot for most of us to wrap our head around. Dimorphos, the NASA DART system, the weather, oh, it's just too much, Nicole. Break it all down for us. What's the purpose of this mission? Right, so um, this is a planetary defense, uh, you know, a mission, and we'll explain more later, but um, basically in 2022, uh, NASA launched its uh, DART mission, the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, to uh, this asteroid system. It's a double asteroid system. You can see the larger, which is Didymos uh, there, and the smaller one, Dimorphos. Dimorphos actually orbits around Didymos, and they wanted to see if they could change that orbit, and they did. So instead of it being 11 hours, 11 hours and 55 minutes, they actually shaved 33, uh, 33 minutes off that. And um, that was a, considered a very successful mission, but there's only so much you can see from the ground. We did see a trail of debris from uh, 10,000 kilometers long, but they need to know what actually, what else changed in the system. Um, and, uh, you know, it's it's very it's a very interesting thing because you can see that it's just loose rocks altogether, and so they want to see what else might have happened to uh, Dimorphos. Okay, and you mentioned that this is protective in some ways. So explain why that's important. Yeah. So we have. You know, uh, the most recent example I can think of that people might remember is the Chelyabinsk uh, uh, asteroid, which or meteorite goes by both, that uh, kind of slammed into Russia, uh, into Chelyabinsk, Russia, and it created a huge airburst. And this airburst actually uh, injured a thousand people. So we're kind of in this cosmic shooting gallery. So NASA and the European Space Agency wanted to find out what could we possibly actually alter the orbit of an asteroid that might be on its way with, on a collision course with Earth. And this was the first step, was DART. And now HERA is going there, and it's going to see what else has changed. It has two other uh, spacecraft that are satellites that are going with it as well. And it's swinging around Mars in 2025, and we'll get a nice image of its uh, one of its smaller moons, uh, Deimos. And so this is going to be really exciting. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> CBC senior science reporter, Nicole Mort Mortellaro. Thank you.